Hello, everyone, and welcome to our workshop, um, the Metaverse Workshop, Transforming the HR. Um, my name is Ivan Pozorov, and uh, today I will guide you through the new possibilities of the Metaverse. And uh, yeah, without any delay, let's, uh, let's jump right in. Um, so as I said, my name is Ivan. I'm a co-founder and CBDO, Chief Business Development Officer at Worlds. I have more than 11 years experience developing different augmented and virtual reality projects for the enterprise scale clients, including uh, Lexus, Dubai Culture, Deloitte, Societe Generale, Cherry, and many, many others. Today, we'll uh, walk through the case studies and the most interesting analytics and data about this um, new movement. And of course, we'll try to find uh, the, the utility, because that's probably the most important question currently about the uh, the, the metaverse. So again, um, just to be clear, for those who never heard about Worlds, um, great to see you on our live stream. We are Worlds, we're a metaverse platform for business. And for those who are not familiar with the metaverse market in general, it's actually growing. We can expect about uh, 2 trillion US dollars in 2030 and talking about uh, like a, a general metaverse market. And today, currently, we are evaluating the, the metaverse market in general uh, without, with up to 47 billion US dollars. So in this market, we are, as a company, already gained a reputation. We worked with this different companies around the world, delivering the very uh, useful metaverse experiences. But when we're talking about the metaverse, there are a question it doesn't matter are you the agency or you're a company, but then the question is how to enter the metaverse. But I think today the question we need to answer is how to get the value from the metaverse. Because there are lots of hype, there are lots of uh, speculation around the, the metaverse, but there are really lack of the utility. There are lack of uh, the, the cases which will actually can measure and can reflect the real KPI inside the business. So the reason why we decided to have the workshop it, it, it specifically about the usage of the metaverse for HR, exactly because that's a, a sphere where you can find the utility. Before we can jump uh, to the use cases and the explanation, let's um, kind of agree on the terminology. There are different way to name it. Someone call it the metaverse, cyberspace, virtual worlds, digital, spatial computing, extended reality, metaverse, etc. Let's all agree that that's just one huge movement. Today, our goal is to have the simple uh, explanation. One of the ways to, to have the description of what is the metaverse, it's, it was done by Matthew Ball. But I preferred something simpler, like what if the metaverse is a network of 3D virtual worlds? And even maybe simpler, what if the metaverse is just a 3D internet? And if you think about this in this way, you can easily imagine the number of the use cases, exactly the number of things we're currently doing the in, in, in internet, then you can be able to do this inside the metaverse. But today we, we need to speak and we need to clarify the use cases. So to do this, I want to introduce a simple theme. So the first, we need to kind of sp split it on the two, all the use cases of the metaverse, we need to split it on two groups. The first one is internal. In terminal, meaning that you actually can use the virtual spaces and augmented reality to, for example, for uh, human resources department. You can educate people, you can provide the onboarding, you can provide the education for, for your employees. And then you can do the external uh, solution for, 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 your, um, for your company, meaning that you can have the marketing activation, you can have the, the showroom, or you can uh, uh, create an event and uh, just attract the attention to your company. But probably uh, today we need to focus on, um, on a use cases, on internal use cases. How to start using metaverse, not just for hype, but actually for, to bring the utility. So to speak about it, uh, we need to create the basically simple table explaining what the problem is. And the problem currently is very basic and very clear because 
we, 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 we identified it based on a customer developer search with a kind of ha a different head of HR for large corporations. And they're all complaining about the same. They're saying that the onboarding is very slow and non-efficient. They're saying that the turnover is actually very high, especially in the first few months. And then recruiting for the new generation is very hard process for the, for the like a big corporation. And of course, the training is required like a new tools. And they complaining that the training is very complex and non-effective, uh, uh, basically, uh, thing they're currently creating on, on a company. So today, we want to present you a number of solutions. So for the onboarding, for example, we uh, kind of promote the way of doing the engagement. Uh, and in this way, we can say that 89% uh, of employees are more productive when they, when they use the gamification. That's very simple, but and today we'll speak a lot about the gamification and the use of the gamification in general, but that's a role of the metaverse to bring this to the company. Then a turnover. Uh, and then again, we can, uh, we can, we can uh, mention one of statistics so I found in the and uh, by Gallup study, so showing the business is high employees engagement experience, 43 less turnover, meaning that as soon as you're involving uh, your uh, employees, your, your, your workforce inside the processes, you get much more efficiency. You get, you get them, you get some, you keep them inside the company. And the metaverse is just a, a, a solution to do this. But when you're talking about the recruitment, of course, we all know that this a new generation are spending a, a couple of hours each day inside the virtual world. You need to speak using their language. They're using a language of new media to, to get the communication with others, to get the information that actually presented inside the virtual world. And if you're saying that's welcome to my company, you'll go for the onboarding or your goal for you, you need to pass a number of tests. And that's actually the three-dimensional environment where we need to run with your or with with the with the hr manager for example that's their language you need to use it you need to understand your next uh kind of your next type of the of the, of the employees and of course the training and training when you're talking about the training 33 percent of employees would like more game-like features in their employee training software and 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 when we're talking about the games we will try to to make it very clear and transparent today we need to to, to define what does what it mean to have a game. And I will, I will give you a few quotes. So games give experience meaning. So they, they provide a set of boundaries with a safe environment to explore, think, and try things out. And most importantly, games provide motivation to succeed and reduce uh, the, the, basically the string to failure. And that's all about the, the need of using the gamification. And that's why the metaverse is basically the, the best solution for this. And uh, let's create a simple formula. It's always easier to understand something when we start to decomp like a, basically put it on a, on, a, uh, on a different pieces. So the gamification is basically connection, when you have connection between the user and the information, then interaction, when you actually can, can experience, you can click, you can discover, you can run through, you can get the score. And, and, and basically the challenge. The challenge keep you in, engaged inside. You can have a multiple employees com, uh, kind of competing with each other. Just imagine that the, the current onboarding process, it's more like a tons of paperwork and they're really, really basic PDF presentation. It's kind of boring. And most of the people in the, in the companies don't like this process. When we speak about the gamification, we, we, we of course, we provide, we're thinking about the onboarding with gamification. When we can use a points, uh, leaderboards, leveling up, badges, different kind of saying, you're, you get this badge, now you're the best in this specific, um, for example, course uh, during the onboarding. Challenges and achievements, and basically the, the competition between the users. Imagine that's uh, the, the kind of the old onboarding process it's all about kind of really basic um, uh, things when you just need to read the information on a flat screen. But when you go inside this three-dimensional environment, especially with other people inside, you feel that you're in a stage of discovery. It's a new experience for you, and you're kind of hungry to, 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 to get more. 
And maybe it's a good time for me to share one of the spaces we prepared, uh, we prepared for, for today. And let me share the screen. So this one, it's called a world homeland. And today we'll jump directly inside the virtual space. Let's create a name. And, and uh, for those who are not familiar with the world ecosystem, I'm currently inside the, inside, inside the world. Uh, we made specially for, for our own company. I'm presented as an avatar. And of course I can connect the, the custom avatar, for example, a ready player me avatar. Let me do this very quickly. For example, I will choose this one. I always, I always choosing this one. So when I'm presented inside as avatar, of course, I have a number of emotions. I can wave, I can clap, I can jump, I can speak with others. And that's actually the space we made specially for, for basically today's, today's workshop. What it is about, this is actually onboarding inside our own company. We are mentioning the, the companies who are, trusted, uh, who are trusting our, our platform. Then there are short video telling a story about our platform. We can basically the full video explaining what it is, what it is the world and how it works. Then we have a case study, the case study highlighting the latest project we made for our clients. For example, the American Rag showroom, we'll speak about it later. And also the uh, Amoda, Amoda O Universe, it's also, it's also showroom made on a world platform. There are also roadmap highlighting the most important things to be to appear in Q3 and Q4. And there's a meeting room actually where we can book a meeting with me or with my partners and, and, and basically discuss the potential implementation of the of the metaverse. Of course, we have a number uh, of course we, we have a number of kind of e e uh, metaverse components explaining for those who are new we are highlighting the basic things you need to know. For example, that's avatar. That's uh, one of the assets inside the virtual space. Also there are uh, uh, object, or you can also try the augmented reality or build your own space. That's the explanation we have about our own uh, company. And the same could be done for any other company as a part of the onboarding process. But let's go back to the presentation I prepared for, for today. So we're, we were talking about the onboarding process and um, imagine that you can have, imagine that you can have the space dedicated specifically for your company saying, if you need to go to, to find where to get the uh, laptop, it's always a long text explaining this person, this, this is instruction, but actually you can go inside the space and get the small quest of how to get this information, especially now when people are actually working remotely all around the world. And when we when we're talking about the, the the turnover, of course, it's good to mention the case study. That's one of the companies who are created uh, the space for 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 their employees, and and actually they're creating the events inside. If you're talking about the numbers, they did their the the survey, and ninety five percent of employees feel engaged and immersed inside the virtual spaces. And that's actually the things you're seeing on the screen right now. It's a, it's more like a town hall when they invited uh, most of the most of the employees inside. They're communicating, they're speaking, and they're all uh, seated in different locations. But that metaverse, it's a way to meet inside the virtual space, and they actually create a number of quests inside. So for some of the employees, you need to find a promo code to to be kind of to get the achievements inside the company. So they're using metaverse more like a tool to play with their own employees. Or another example, the, the day recruiting event, it's, it actually was a public event. There was lots of journalists, lots of people from all around the world joined this event. And there were also other people who were, were around like 2,000 guests in one day just came to this virtual space, again, from all around the world. And average age uh, of the participants was 22 years uh, old, meaning that you can, they basically then can use this as a more like a reputation mark saying that, yeah, you're a progressive company. You were on our event. Do you remember this? And then you can basically use this as a, 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 as a part of the recruitment campaign. Another case study, it's a bank. Unfortunately, I can't say the name, but they, they were using the, the, the space they created also for the, uh, let's say, for recruiting processes, for, for uh, leveraging the, the brand awareness in, a, in the market, inviting all, like, basically young people from, from, 
from all around the world to join the, the space, to check the vision of the company. And I, I was speaking about the age. And you need to know that the daily users uh, over the 13 years old actually are growing. And if you compare this even a couple of years ago compared to now, the amount of people who are actually already uh, 20 years old is pretty huge. We're talking about the tens of millions of users inside the virtual space. So it's extremely important to understand it's not just uh, about the kids. Now it's the people who can make the, the decision, who can spend the money, who can be uh, a, a new employees in your company. Today, we're only focused on uh, HR. So of course, we need to speak about the training. And we didn't... No, speaking about the training, you need to know the, the formulas that you keep them engaged. You create the story. You create the meaning of any action. So imagine that you need to have a discovery of each equipment inside this virtual virtual hangar. So you, you need to find a way to exit the space. Is there something happening inside? Or you need to find all details and you need to work with the equipment. All this is a part of the basically uh, the, the platform and the solution we provide for, for, for the brands. All the videos and the case study I'm showing today on the presentation is actually made on, on our platform. And uh, that's very important to understand that while we are developing this product, we are providing the solution for our brands to actually scale, to, to use the, the metaverse in different aspects. And today, of course, we are talking about the internal usage of the platform. So that's the quick um, kind of uh, uh, action, let's say. Uh, I want to invite you to scan this QR code and experience augmented reality. That's uh, something people sometimes forget that it's also part of this metaverse movement, let's say. So feel free to use your iOS or Android device, uh, scan the QR code and get the augmented reality avatar in front of you. The reason why I'm showing you this, that's augmented reality actually part of the education process, part of the HR onboarding. Because imagine that you can have a decision maker uh, staying right in front of you, explaining you some very important things. Or some of the board director can, can be part of the education lesson and basically be presented right in front of you to teach you how to do specific, how to do specific things. And this feeling of presence, that's a unique feature of the augmented reality. And the simplicity and the way we are delivering this using our own platform is actually magnificent because you don't need to have a specific tools. You don't need to have an uh, uh, extreme amount of like applications or you don't need to have the plugins. You just can access this through the web. And taking into consideration that that's the whole solution we are provided is very secure. It, and I'll speak about it later. And that's basically become very best solution on the market uh, to, to, to create a, a human resources case study for, 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 for your brand. So let's speak about the, the, the second part of the metaverse case study. And of course, that's an external way to use an external case study. So as I, met you, as I already mentioned, the way to create the awareness about your brand and may create the, basically the value for you uh, for your brand, it's, there are two basic things you can do inside the metaverse. The first one is a showroom. You can, you can start selling your, uh, your products or you can start explaining the things about your products using the, the showroom. Or you can create an event. Uh, it could be one time or like you can have the event each month, invite the different groups of participants to tell them the story, to create the concert, all types of things you, you're always doing in a classic social media now could be done in virtual spaces with a, with a feeling of presence. And the unique feature we are providing to our clients, it's actually the analytics and the possibility to run the entire solution under the white label. So talking about the external solution, of course, for those who are joining our, uh, our, our workshop today, because they want to know the, the latest knowledge and they want to know the latest statistics, sorry. Uh, so let, let's speak about the numbers. So if, if, in, even this year, the revenue from the metaverse e-commerce or the i-commerce, the way I call it, it's around 20 billion US dollars. Uh, US consumers are expecting to spend in metaverse in five years about 4.7 hours per day. Today, we're talking about a few hours per day, but very soon, there are, the number will be much higher. And that's a very cool, very important numbers I want to mention. 
So 79% of, con of act consumers active in the metaverse have uh, made a purchase. Uh, mainly it's a digital purchase. So they're using, they're spending money to get some kind of extra feature inside the virtual world. But there are a growing number of the active users inside the metaverse who are actually purchasing the physical things. And that's the number we need. Because if you're doing the, if you're building the showroom, you need to know that 33% of the active users inside the metaverse are actually purchasing the real, real, real items. Let's speak about the case study because most important things, it's a, uh, it, it is to measure the case study. When you're doing the event, and that's kind of the, in the DNA of our platform, when you're doing that the solution, you need to measure, you need to understand what is a kind of effect it's having on, on, on the business. What's the future of the next case study? What's the future of the scaling solution? And I want to share with you the Cherry Metaverse. The case was made on the world's platform. And basically in the two months, they get 35,000 unique visitors and get around more than 200 uh, uh, test drive book, bookings. So meaning that the visitors who are joining this space were interested to appreciate this car. They, are, they are, were using the, the, the button inside the virtual, virtual space to book that real physical test drive of this car. Or let's talk about the American rag, American rag uh, space. There was around 10K visitors again in two months and more than 4,000 uh, clicks to go to the real marketplace where they can actually purchase the things. So Metaverse in this case was kind of a connection between the classic 2D website and a 3D website. Another use case was made on our platform for Imperial Brands. It's a very large, uh, like basically Fortune 15 company. They created the, the kind of um, the, the, the voting system inside the virtual space for the music, for the music festival. And again, there was like a, around 10,000 visitors and more than uh, 8,000 voting inside the virtual space. So all this is a part of the of the current movement, and we are really happy to share the numbers we get from 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 this case study. But Let's make it clear. What is the proposed solution we want to we want to give you today? It doesn't matter are you the agency or or your company or enterprise or small scale company. The solution will always be the same. So it's a complex uh, approach by world. What does it mean by complex approach? Complex approach meaning that we provide the four steps to integrate to create the the valuable metaverse uh, solution for you. So let's start with the first one. The first one is a consulting. It's very important because we need to do the workshop for you. We need to do the strategy sessions with you. We need to match the problem and solution. We need to find where the most uh, kind of uh, big part of this current pipeline, for example, on, during the onboarding and where we can implement the, the metaverse. And then, of course, we can provide a report and strategy. That's the first step. The second one is a proof of concept or let's say a demo. Proof of concept and demo. It's like uh, you basically you can develop and test something, and very important. And already mentioned this before. You can measure and compare, and then analyze and evaluate. That's meaning that the, the, the proof of concept is supposed to be uh, a number of like uh, integration inside the the, the, the current um, ecosystem of your company to find the best use case. And then when we find it we are starting the deeper integration inside your company, meaning that we are starting to connect the metaverse with your existing tool sets. So imagine you have the different CRM systems. Imagine that you have your own cloud system. And, and that's basically the part of your existing infrastructure. And if the metaverse is always somewhere nearby, it will, it will stay there. What we provide on worlds and what we kind of... Uh, uh, think that the future of this uh, of, of this solution is that you can actually integrate it inside your existing infrastructure. Of course, we have API and uh, we can do the on-premise uh, cloud-based solution for you. And uh, and of course, we do the, the the very strong security for 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 entire solution because we understand that that's a part of the enterprise approach. And, and that's that's the kind of uh, the, the, the complex vision, it's always about the long-term perspective. We are not doing the, just the one case uh, to, 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 to run on, on top of the hype. 
we're talking about the complex integration. And of course, the next one is the scaling. Scaling, meaning that when we found it, we can integrate it to, 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 to hold, to, for example, uh, we can scale the integration to, to get more benefits of, for the company. So why worlds? There are different companies providing a solution for this, but why worlds? Um, so it's simple. We have a more than 10 years experience uh, working with an enterprise scale project, a, providing them a augmented and virtual reality solution. Then we are one of the fastest uh, platform to, to provide this enterprise scale integration because we have our own solution and we're already tested with the, with the clients. Then, of course, we are we're providing most secured solution, the strong support with the documentation and uh, the corporate partners who are already working with us can prove our credibility. And uh, of course, we have a kind of, let's say, the advanced content delivery tools, the augmented reality, virtual reality. It's all part of the, of the, of the platform. Another way to answer why worlds, uh, it's, of course, the, 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 the one I already mentioned. That we can provide the API integration through the API. We are using ISO standards for, for all the files. That's, very, again, very important for, for the big scale projects. We are, we, we, we are a GDPR compliance, and that's a kind of a secret feature. And we are, we'll get to know more on the June of 5th, but uh, everyone expecting to have the Apple uh, release of the new vision of like uh, XR devices, the new vision of the, uh, let's call the virtual worlds. No one knows exactly what it will be, but everyone expects that it will be in a new ecosystem, new way of working with the content. And it's very important to mention that world is by default using the same standard that Apple will use in their ecosystem. And uh, that's, that's, that's very important because when we're talking about the long-term relationship, it's important that the platform providing this long-term relationship actually having the long-term vision. That's the things we put when we started more than a half a year ago. And we, we start to uh, building the step-by-step -step this platform specifically for the, uh, for the enterprise clients. So slowly going to the end of the presentation uh, to, to go then to the Q&A session, I want to give you the simple instruction on how to start. So the first step is, of course, identify. You need to identify the, the clients. You want to integrate this HR solution. Uh, or if you're the client, you need to identify, do you want to have the, the value, valuable metaverse case study? Then you need to simply contact us. I will do the, the QR code in the end so you can uh, text me in LinkedIn or scan our QR code. And basically, the, the third one is a workshop. So we can start with the, with the, with the sharing the knowledge with your team. It's because when we provide the knowledge, we can do the strategic session and find the best way to integrate the metaverse for you. Um, as I promised, that's a QR code. Feel free to scan if you don't have our contacts yet. Uh, contacts yet. Uh, that's a QR code leading to basically all the important information about worlds, like our website, the way to follow us in the social media. And uh, you, you can always t text me directly to get more information about this upcoming, upcoming uh, vision and uh, the current, current solution we are providing for, for the enterprise scale clients. Um, and of course, for the small present for everyone who was uh, on, uh, on today's, um, today's workshop, we will share the latest presentation uh, specifically focused on, uh, on a new vision of worlds and on a new, on a new uh, case study, and you'll be able to use this um, easily uh, for, for, for to, to pitching and to showing to, to your departments or to, to your clients. So on this moment, I will stop sharing the screen and probably will go to the Q&A session. Uh, just give me a second. I want to, I want to find the, the, the comments. OK, great. Um, uh, plus AI, fresh uh, digits. Where are these numbers coming from? 89% from employees are more productive with gamification, 91%. So that's unknown. And any, that, that's, uh, that's a question we get. Where are these numbers come from? So all, all the presentation includes the sources. So uh, there are two sources. Basically, it's a McKinsey report and PwC report. 
and sometimes there are also links to the Statista. And one more link I can also provide. Uh, it's included inside the presentation, so we can easily find the, the sources. But most of the time, we are using the the big four, uh, big, big big four companies to uh, analytics by big four. Uh, so I sign up profile under LA. Okay, on App Store. Um, on App Store. No, talking about the App Store. So. Our, the, the, the solution we provide is a fully web-based, meaning that you don't need to download the application. You, we can deliver the entire experience just using web. So yeah, you, you don't need to, to go to the App Store. The closed caption covered by QR code. Uh, okay, so you want me to show the QR code again? Just give me a second. I will, I will do the QR code again. Okay, here is a QR code leading to the world's contact. And if you're watching, if you're watching this live stream, feel free to uh, feel free to turn off the caption. You can click on a, on a translation, and uh, there are uh, icons saying CC. So you can basically turn it off, and uh, you, you'll be able to scan the, the QR code easily. So let me check. Are there any um, more other questions? Where are these numbers? Uh, AI, other delay. Okay, okay. I think we don't have any other questions, but you always can uh, send me a direct message and I will be happy to, to reply and uh, to give you the access to the latest uh, presentation and case study. Thank you for uh, for joining this workshop. There are more to come uh, in the future. We'll try to have more workshops highlighting different way and uh, basically to, different way to, to create a value inside the metaverse. So yeah, thank you so much for, for joining and uh, yeah, see you in, in the metaverse.